Hello there, this is Austin Curry with Force My Colon. In this video, I'm going to show you how to accomplish this. A simple search field that once you focus in, it appears that the search, the search icon becomes the text cursor right here. Pretty nice. And when you bl uh, blur uh, the, f uh, the field, it appears like the cursor grows into the this search icon. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff and pretty easy to do as well. So I already have the the a simple version of this, like a, a not interactive is like when I type, not nothing's working on here, everything is broken. Uh, this is just a style. I'm gonna explain everything that's going on here before we get into the interaction part, which is pretty simple and straightforward. Don't worry about any code here. Um, I'm just gonna skip um scheme on them, and I have the link below where you can actually check the code and actually play with this this nice uh, UI trick here we have here. So jumping to the code, we have a simple form, uh, nothing special here. Um, but here in the input and label, uh, because they have a relationship here now, they say the label is for the search. I didn't put anything here uh, because I'm just gonna put the icon in there. Uh, so for the input uh, a search, this means that when this label gets clicked, it's still gonna trigger the focus in this input here. So it's very important to have that relationship here because this is gonna be placed on top of this. So we want to, uh, once this click and this gets triggered, the, 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 the focus, the text typing request. So nothing special here. So pretty simple form. Um, here, I'm um, just going to ignore the body here. This is what I used to center thing in the search form. Nothing special here. So with the hundred pixel, that's pretty much it. Um, so for here, I'm just doing some cleanup on input and button. So I have some common style here. I uh, do float left means I want the, this thing to be side by side. So when I inspect this, you see the input and the, the input here and the button stay side by side. That's what the float left does, uh, but not alone. Uh, I'm going to explain later how this magic works. So I run again here. I'm flushing the browser defaults, so I'm removing appearance. So when you put the input field uh, in the browser, the browser adds some appearance to it. So I'm just saying don't add to it. And also I'm removing outline is because uh, on Chrome, when you uh, focus on a field, sometimes if you don't have this, uh, you, you will have a, a blue uh, outline on um, around the, the field which i don't want uh in this case so not a special again uh on the input three things here so special one is the the width here say i'm using the calc function here and say take 100 percent of the parent uh minus 40 pixels because 40 pixels is actually the width of the button if you remember uh the input it uh stays side by side with the button right here so it's take take 100 percent of the parent I believe 40 pixels always for the button so it doesn't matter how wide the parent is it could be a thousand pixel it would just uh, calculate the 100% minus 40 pixels so for the button and not again uh, on padding couple trick I did here top right bottom left uh, on the left specifically I say 15 pixels from the left that's uh, was when I type that's this is from the cursor from the left here. That's a nice equilibrium that I found. Um, and I also wanted to to fall on um, right where the, the, the transform origin is for the icons. So it's very important there. You can also move that depending on the icon. You, you have to move this so you can map it on top of each other to have that effect. Another thing here I have is color transparent. That's what uh, makes it so when I type here, uh, everything is transparent so when I have here on the, the plain one you see when I type even though I'm typing right now nothing shows up because everything is transparent that also hides the cursor so the cursor here only appears after the animation it's not at the end of animation specifically so it gives that effect when the the, the icon goes through 90, 90 degree to the viewer uh, the, the cursor appears so it gives that effect so very important that detail right there so on the label so the label is positioned on the top left corner. So when I highlight the label here, you see it's positioned on top of the input. Remember when you click on it, it triggers the focus and click on the input. So uh, it doesn't matter if it's on top. So I just position here right on top pretty much. And another thing I have here that's, uh, which is the transform origin. Here's the X and the Y. So so let's say if the label here so i say the middle is right here and i say 40 percent on the x so it's pretty much right here so you see there it matches exactly where the cursor is so it's just a play play on here as well 
so um this will handle the the comeback so when i go this is how it goes like when i focus on the field it goes 100 degree and then when i blur it goes back to zero degree so what i'm saying is, is once you transform when you're going back to transform into zero degree, it just takes point just takes point three of a second to do that. So whatever you're doing, whenever you're going back to zero degree, just take point three of a second. That's what these two lines here are doing. So and nothing special on the button. Now I'm gonna go over it. So let's start and do the magic. And the first thing I want to, so like I'm just gonna swap here to the plain one. I'm just gonna bring the console so uh, here. We're not going to use anything in cost so here now this is pretty broken it's just style let's add some interaction and the first interaction i want to add is actually the focus thing um so what I, if i do search input on focus this is how you're doing css I say i own focus what i want two things i want to do i want to bring the color back to black so i'm going to use with two 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 here and i'm saying just whenever you're going to do this transition to black I'm a specific the transition for color takes zero second to do this, but use the ease effect and wait 0.3 of a second. I'm saying wait for 0.3 of a second and don't take any time to apply this, but wait 0.3 of a second to, before you do this. This is because I'm going to animate the search icon in 0.3 of a second. I just want it to wait. So when it reached the end of animation, um, I'll, I'll apply this color. So it's pretty neat. So right now, if I come here and I do, you see 0.3 of a second and then the cursor appears. So here I can see right here, the cursor right there. So we have the first step. And the second step I'm going to do is to grab a sibling, which is the label. That's why it's very important to uh, have the input first and then the, the label here because CSS cannot go reverse. You can always grab the, the next one. So it's a next sibling that is a label and i want to apply this to this again i'm just gonna come here and copy these two things i'm gonna use this and i'm saying when you focus on this input just move this uh label 90 degree in on the y-axis and do this in 0.3 of a second pretty straightforward so far so right now when i come in the browser and i refresh this and i go there you go you have the fact but then there you go and then you have the forward and backwards right there pretty simple these two things here already did everything we want so now that there is a problem now so now that we have this when i type it goes back again to transparent and the icon appears so it disappears broken so we want to need some javascript to help us with this so over here in the in the html i'm just going to bring a script tag here i'm going to add some uh, JavaScript inside here. I'm going to use ES6 plus com e, e syntax. So I'm going to call search field here. Um, here, I'm going to bring document, query selector. Oops. Query selector. Oops. Again. <laughs> so I'm just going to query for the input and of type um, search. I could just say input, but this is a force of habit to be very specific. I like to be very specific in my CSS. So here I'm gonna add an event, which is the blur event. Add event listener. Why am I having trouble typing? So uh, the blur event here, I'm gonna bring my arrow function. I'm gonna call this event. And inside I'm gonna have a simple if else, if else uh, condition. I'm gonna say if event if search field i could say event not target pretty much but i already have selected if search field value i'm also going to trim so just in case the people type space length you know i'm saying there is if there is a length i mean if it's not zero i want you to add a class class list i'm going to add class list here add I'm going to say, now I'm going to call this blurred. I'm going to call it blurred and auto ice. I'm just going to remove this class pretty much remove here. Pretty 
pretty simple. I'm not gonna use remove this event since I'm not gonna use it, but I could use event.target here instead of search fill. But it's cool. So this will do. So here I'm again I'm gonna say if there is a value in there, add this class, and this class is gonna use to maintain that 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 style. So when I come back here, I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna say when the when this input receives the blurred class, I want you to keep the color. I'm not gonna have transition because I don't wanna this to wait. I'm gonna say keep the color and also actually I'm gonna move this out um, outside here. And also I wanna do again select the label again and I say you keep the rotation 90 degree. So I'm blurred when there's a value in there, keep the color of the text and keep the, the, the search for the icon to be 90 degrees so it will not show. So right now, if I come here, I type something, I do the blur and everything stays. So that's the magic right there. Pretty simple and straightforward. I hope you, you, you like this. Um, again, I'm gonna have the code on the link below. Um, so please check it out and play with it again and subscribe for more tips like this. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Bye bye.